Hi guys, welcome to another video. Market has been pretty much very, very bearish right now. Everything is getting into a bearish engulfing candle. We had another weekly close that was on a bearish engulfing close. So we did discuss last week also, but let's just have a quick overview about it. So what is a bearish engulfing pattern? A bearish engulfing pattern is a technical chart pattern that signals lower prices to come. So usually the candlestick would look like this, like we have seen here. We are clearly having something similar here last week as well. This week as well, though it wasn't as big as the one last week, but still we are in zones that we wouldn't want to be at. So what we can expect coming later into the week is very, very important. And I'm also thinking that the market might just stay in this bearish momentum for certain time to come because a lot of action has been coming. So let's aim into it directly and see what I'm talking about. This is what I'm really, really talking about because this is what I do for day and weekly time frames. We had a lower low, a higher high, then a higher low, then a higher high. Now I'm expecting somewhere here to have a higher low. In case, if we do break the trend, that would be a some different scenario for us completely. But overall, this is what we're expecting for the market to come somewhere in the regions of 2,500 for ETH and somewhere in the regions for BTC around about 37 38 thousand dollars would be a very key zone especially in these areas and we are if you look into it closely making similar pattern for that right now which is very interesting and very very important for us to monitor as well right now in the markets next thing we want to watch is our bubbles bubbles are pretty much red especially in the daily time frames everything is red except for dcr stacks and xcn overall market is very very bearish so there aren't much trades available right on the market and just to aim into the trades because we want to aim into the trades is never a really good idea and i always tell you guys don't do that because that will always make you very greedy very fearful and that's what we don't want in the markets we always want to wait for a good trade a healthy trade to come by and then aim into the markets next thing we have for us today that we want to see is our fear and greed index yesterday we were at all the levels of 28 Today we're back into the levels of 24 so that the fear that we've been seeing that the FUD we are seeing in the market and the bearish engulfing candle we are seeing has actually brought us down and in the past two weeks we are continuously dumping and dumping and dumping and we have come down all the way from 55 levels all the way down to even 20 levels so today we are at 20 which is still in that range where we are expecting to be building some kind of bottom here because we hardly get to see 9 or 10 we usually get to see 15 14 12 but that's also very very rare overall if we look into long and short ratio global data we are about 54 percent long positions in one hour it's quite even stevens right now 53 to 46 percent that is all right not much action there long and short ratio block trades 51 percent in 24 hours long positions open right now in one hour there's even even Stevens here above 48 to 51 percent so that's all right if you want to see market sentiment especially for BTC and ETH funding rates are positive that is a very very good sign for us market sentiment is pretty neutral as well that is a very very good sign for us as well so overall things do look okay especially in the big data which is very very important for us now we come into one of the most favorite things that I like to share that is startup because I made a lot of money in startups and I would advise you guys to join startup as well. Just click in the link given in the description below, join gate.io with my referral code. If you're going to deposit like $500, you're definitely going to get $200 as a reward or airdrop. So I'm sure you don't want to miss out on that opportunity and as soon as you reach VIP levels, you will be able to get into startup as well. So today's startup is going to be winners. It's a blockchain technology enabling skill based wagering mechanics to any competitive game so this is going to be a utility token that's going to be having play to earn and gaming tokens as well it's a very very important coin we have about 19 hours to go right now we have already reached 37.457.44 percent so it's went way above its target that was initially started for it in the startup so that is a very very good sign money raised is amazing so overall this project is going to become very very bullish especially when it comes into the newly listed so in the newly listed it's going to be coming exactly in one day time frames about 23 hours to go but the next one we have is blockchain brawlers going to be starting in about two hours which is going to be very interesting for us to watch out for and i'm really sure that this project is going to be very very big as well because it's again a uh, play to earn game and you know all the play to earn games actually do a skyrocketing ship because they are always rocket up to five to six hundred percent and sometimes we've even seen them going to five thousand percent so we want to have that kind of gains right nobody in the world would want to miss out on gains like that so if you do want to get into those gains all you have to do is just click in the link given in the description below join gate.io and avail newly listed 
or startup as well like i said if you're going to use my referral code you're going to get about 40 to 50 percent money back in your deposits so if you do invest something like a five hundred dollars you're going to get two hundred dollars if you invest about a hundred dollars you're going to get 40 to 50 dollars back in rewards and airdrops so i'm sure you'll want to miss out on that right so do do click on the link and i hope to see you guys in gate.io next thing we have for us today is going to be investing this is going to be a lot of action coming last week especially in the talks stocks was pretty pretty bad and good as well for some points because tesla went up because of the twitter bid by musk netflix snap ibm bank of america at and verizon american express johnson and johnson and pretty much many more things as well things that we have to really watch out for that we've been discussing for past several weeks as well brought a lot of fun in the market with that that is covid china's daily coal output hits record high in march so that is a very very good sign overall for china seeing that the covid is getting very very high and supply chains all around the world are getting disrupted if you're an exporter importer or you are in supply chain businesses you can clearly see that the supply chain right now and around the world is getting a massive hit because china shanghai province is closed shanghai is itself is closed and is bringing a lot of stress onto the supply chain around the world next thing like we said covid shanghai reports first that during current covid outbreak so this is another intense things are getting very very intense especially related to the covid fad and like i said just now the supply chain is also getting affected this week is going to be very very important u.s economics data this week is going to be housing starts on tuesday building permits on tuesday existing home sales on wednesday fed beach book wednesday job list claims thursday philly fed manufacturing index on thursday manufacturing pmi on friday and services pmi on friday so this is going to be an action-packed weekend we can expect some kind of volatility also becoming in cryptocurrencies and we have to really really watch out for that one so now should we get into back into our charts i think we certainly should so now if you want to get into our charts let's zoom into from weekly time frames probably go into the four hour time frames and see what we can expect right now in the market what kind of action that could is possibly right now in the market it also looks like a massive double top after double top even if you want to zoom out a bit it also looks like a head and shoulders so probably very very likely for us to break down from all those situations we had a massive bear flag here we did break down from that bear flag right now we are probably going to be making another bear flag which we have to cautiously wait out for we're just trading right now in the regions of 39655 to all the way below about 39000 so still okay still not as bad as we would have thought we are going to probably come down back into support levels on this support line we did face massive resistance from our resistance line and we have done pretty much pretty pretty hard right now so overall something to watch out for us that we don't want it to have but we can't do pretty much about anything about this in this uh, price structure right now we just have to monitor the markets and be very very casual about it next thing we've been watching is dxy dxy had a massive upside especially in four hour candles so that is something we have to watch out for we wouldn't want to have that ideally but we did have that kind of upside so there's not much we can do about it man making a massive bullish flag as well right now so if we do have a breakout here we are expecting a further upside to be coming in dxy that already means that there's going to be an increase in inflation which has been increasing tremendously over the last few days big play we had here double bottom had a clear breakout then we zoom out from the double bottom we had a massive cup and a handle and now we are breaking out of that cup and handle we are likely to come back into trend coming back into trend would be somewhere in broad the regions of five percent so that is very very likely here we did fail to break below 3.69 percent that i always said we must break below this if we want that 110th percent confirmation that we are going in a bull run since we didn't do it we are pretty much now back into a bear market things are becoming very very bearish people are now talking about dumps and pumps or this is a fake dump this is to liquidate things like i always say i don't like to get into speculation i prefer to go zone to zone support to resistance market level to level market so right now we already have broken levels let, let us consolidate at some level before taking us any long positions or making any more dc entries into our portfolios overall if you can see all the coins here pretty much pretty bad situations going on here not much action for us to really discuss about overall we can see that some coins like stacks is pumping right now stacks is a good protocol it makes smart contracts or is trying to make smart contracts on blockchains lightning network as well so there's something to watch out for that maybe they are having some kind of an upgrade um, right now that's the reason probably it's having a quick upside overall if you want to see our etfs etfs are also in a very strong pullback even if you want to see our dominance for other coins pretty much everything is pulled back this matic looks slightly green which is not much we would want to have in the market now we want to see our tech stocks as well pretty much all our tech stocks and pullback but our commodities right now are having some kind of an upside we can see about a 0.90 percent 
on gold we can see about 0.1 percent nearly on silver and our petrol is uh, petrol and gas up about two to 0.23 percent so these are some interesting factors going on right now in the markets uh, there's not much action for us to right now to discuss about usually monday's openings are like that we see a lot of fart coming into the market and it already shows us that this week could be more 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 fart for us and we might even close below the regions that i've discussed likely that we can close into the region somewhere around uh, 37,000, 38,000, like we can clearly see, we have this higher high price structure going on. If we do follow this price structure, things would be all right. If we fail to do this, we break below this, then we have to become very, very cautious because we can dump very, very hard all the way, maybe 28, 29,000, which we wouldn't want to have. But there's also some people talking about there's a likeliness of us going around 34,000. So we have to watch out for these zones right now. If you are not a person who likes to short the market, it's just something that you got to take a holiday and get out of the market. Just relax yourself out. And if you're a person who's been taking shorts, just be very careful. Do take profits regularly so you don't get in any situation where a market has a bullish upside and you get liquidated. So that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you liked today's video. If you do, smash the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be here again. See you guys tomorrow.